All right, gonna shoot another video here. It's my Milwaukee M12 Axol. Got a fresh battery in it. And I pull the trigger, that happens. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be a free fix, but it'll save you a couple bucks over taking it to Milwaukee. So uh, we're gonna go through this and I'll show you what to do. There are these Torx screws on here. Invest, if you have seen any of my other videos, invest in something like this. Okay, it's a tamper proof Torx set and they're all very small. Like this, is a, this is a T8 and they go down to T3. Start taking these out and I'm gonna pause the video and come back in a minute. We're gonna take these all out and then we're gonna line them up on the piece of paper here. So on this hacksaw, they have, there happen to be nine of them. Two here, one there, those are the shorter ones. Here, 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 and here. Is that nine? Two, four, six, eight. So I can't count. So eight of them. So when you get them all out, I've kind of lined them up here as they go. There's one still in there actually. but. Uh, I kind of line them up like that. Now you won't be able to get this thing apart yet because there's the one clip right, let's see if I can get it in the light, right here. So this clip here, the middle piece, the middle little prong there is going to be bent down to keep it from sliding out. So once you take that clip out, this unit will lift apart like this. Just be careful. And you don't have to take the screws out, you can leave them in there, but you know sometimes they just fall out anyway. So this will expose the guts of the machine and this is what we're interested in here. The battery um, the prong here where the battery attaches to, the trigger here and the PCB. So basically all the electronics behind it. I got that replacement kit here. It was I think $39 that I paid for it. This is the 2420 model of this. It's not the fuel. So for the fuel, it's not called the switch in PCB. It has a different name. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out here. So I will need to get my, sometime I will need to get my um, soldering iron out. This piece you're going to need to save. This piece here you're going to need to save. This is the uh, lock. For the trigger. I'll just put that aside. And what we're going to do here is you'll see that there is the little shadows right on it. Right there. That little clip out here. If you had a pair of tweezers or a small screwdriver you can get that out. So just like that. So now what you can do is you can pull this out. You're going to have to pull out the motor here. Loosen out the LED. Get the LED loose for the light, and then you can get this out of the housing like this. Put your housing aside. Alright, so I'm going to just use a knife to take this shrink wrap off. Realistically, if it's easier for you, just cut the wire and then do this because this is all going to be garbage anyway. So, do this the hard way. There we go. And here, there we go. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat that up, and we're going to get the solder off there. There we go. The other side, the other one here. So now what we can do is uh, take this aside. Here's our new PCB. And what you'll actually see is it actually has the indicator LEDs too. So we can take them out of the housing or you can leave them in. If they're broken on yours then take them out. If they're still good you can leave them in. They are uh, they are 
plastic sealed, plastic welded in here. So if you're going to take them out, you got to redo that. So I'm just leaving them in. Okay, so you'll actually see there is Milwaukee has marked that lead red. That one is still white. So if you uh, didn't pay attention when you took this apart, then you have a piece, a reference point there. Now I am going to grab my soldering iron again. I just took the indicator LEDs off. This, the LED light is on here already. You want to get the shrink wrap on first. Push the shrink wrap all the way, all the way to the end. Because if that wire warms up, you're going to have that shrink wrap shrink onto the cable and you don't want that. So I'm going to take the cable and clamp it into a little U shape there so it's stuck before I solder it. I'll do the same thing on this one here. Okay, just like that. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to heat that wire up. And solder it like so. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Come on, let's get that flow solder flowing. There we go. It took a little bit to get the solder flowing. So we're going to make sure we got the saw, good solder on both sides here. All done. Now we're just going to put the shrink wrap over top like this. There's my lighter. Do the shrink wrap like so. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to test this. My SD card just filled up, so I don't know what was missing there. I'm going to give it a quick test. So there's my battery, and so we know that the saw is now fixed for 30 bucks, 35 bucks. So. I'm going to pick up this here and I'm going to grab my harness here, or the, the case that it's in. Again, this is awkward to do with one person. I'm going to seat the saw back in like this. I'm going to route my wires out of the way here of the, is this, okay. Move my PCB into, oh, I gotta, ha ha ha. Gotta move this into place here first because that was underneath. So I'm gonna, okay, this goes, so it goes in. Like that, so this needs to squeeze down into here. Everything is a real tight fit in here, as you would probably expect. There, got that in, and now I can put the PCB, this goes, this came underneath, and then connects to here, like so. And then the PCB, this thing kind of in the way like this, there, so like that. And then the trigger, like that. And then this, and it clicks in. like that. So the battery slides in here. Yes. Okay. The LED, the wire feeds underneath and around there, up and over and then under there. This here is going to tuck in in front of here. The PCB is in between the, the lockout here, the switch goes like this, the battery compartment goes there. So I'm going to just 
need two hands now. I'm going to move these out of the way. I'm going to put the cover on and screw it back together. Okay, took a little bit of finagling. I got everything back in. It, uh, so now I'm going to tighten them down. Now, uh, as you recall, when we took this apart, those screw holes here, they're all those little plastic, plastic threaded uh, um, screw, uh, screw mounts there. I've got another video. I'm going to put a link to the, at the top here as to an easy way to uh, not break them if uh, you're not uh, used to taking these kind of things apart. Okay, we've got it all back together. Don't forget that little clip in there. And like that, it's fixed. So that is how I fix this Milwaukee M12 hacksaw. Hope it helped. Hit that like button for me and hit subscribe and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.